Hi, and welcome to Easy Fishing. Now, we're into August now and it's the holiday season. As you can tell, it's typical British summer weather. Rain's in the air, it's a bit chilly, but a lot of us will be heading off on holiday soon, uh, and I'm one of them. And I'm going to Whiteacres in Cornwall, a place I've been going to for quite a number of years now. But we all have a problem when it comes to going on holiday. Now, you've all seen the cars rammed to the gunnels with everything that family takes on holiday, which doesn't usually leave a lot of room for fishing tackle. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just show you how I get over this. So the rods, they're not really a problem. Um, you can normally uh, fit the hold all on your roof bars or your roof rack if you have one. So that's not a problem. If however you don't have that, um, the best thing I can suggest is to buy yourself a couple of travel rods which are uh, multi-section, go down to about two and a half feet in length, packed in a hard tube. You can normally cram a couple in the car. The rest of the gear, now, if you have, like a lot of fishermen do, a large, bulky seat box, there's usually definitely not enough room unless you've got a very big car or a trailer or a big van. So what I do to overcome this is uh, I purchased a few years ago one of these Octoplus, they're called Super Stools. They're about as compact as you can get, the legs back underneath. You can usually pretty much find uh, space in your car for one of these. Inside they're surprisingly spacious actually. Um, if you just undo it, in the top they have a winder tray, carries more than enough winders for some holiday fishing, and underneath you have uh, a surprisingly big compartment that you can hold just about everything of a non-bulky nature. So that's pretty much that should be able to find uh, space in your car for that. If you can't even manage that, I have found I can pack just about everything I need in a, uh, I think it was originally a trout shoulder bag. And in it, I can get uh, a float tube full of all the wagglers that I'm gonna need. Dread and Vizzy box full of pole rigs, hooks, even got a set of scales in there, lots of accessories, disgorgers, plummet, shot, etc, etc. Um, a reel with two spools, one with lighter line for uh, float fishing and one with a heavier line for feeder fishing. Three or four bait boxes. And another busy bag full of all my feeder equipment. Uh, several different method feeders, pellet feeders, cage feeders, moulds, leads, you name it, is in there. And I can pretty much get that all in here. So, uh, there's really no excuse for not trying to go fishing. And uh, if you pack the car carefully, I'm sure you can find enough space to squeeze that in. Now, moving on from that, you're obviously going to need a landing net. Well, the handle can go in with the rods and you can get yourself something like this. So this is a, a Corum 22 inch folding spoon, big enough for any commercial carp. I've had carp to uh, high double figures in this with absolutely no problem. As you can see, it's in its own bag, packs away in the car, doesn't smell too much if you wash it out when you finish using it. Um, so that's that problem taken care of. Um, if you're a pole fisherman and you have a box, the most compact solution I've come up with 
is from my uh, Ultra Plus seat box, I have one of these Ultra Plus bars. They fit onto your seat box. Got a brolly in the end there. This end, I've got a, a bump bar or ripple bar, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so I can use the pole, I can use it as a feeder rest. If you don't use that, obviously you want to include two or three good quality rod rests. A couple of bait boxes, they'll all fit in uh, the haversack. And last, by no means least, I have another busy bag. It's got my cameras, charger, and I have a small, lightweight, compact tripod. Though I could probably get away with a bank stick and adapter but the tripod folds away really small. And that's just about it. So when you go on holiday, just because you can't get a big box in and your wife just not gonna wear it because the car's full of kids, buckets, spades, suitcases, whatever, you can normally squeeze in something. Like I say, the rods can go on the roof of a car, hopefully, uh, if not a couple of rods in tubes, compact ones and you're good to go. So uh, I'm shortly heading off to Whiteacres for my annual holiday. Um, I will try and shoot a couple of videos when I'm down there. Again, aimed at beginners. I'll probably be doing, I don't know, short pole, method feeder, ledger of fishing, general commercial fishing, because Whiteacres is a commercial fishery. So, that's what I hope to cover. I might even be able to sneak in a bit of sea fishing, but we'll have to see. The weather is British summer, need I say more? So, um, I hope that helps, and because we all need our fishing fix, because what I tend to do is do the family bit during the day, beach sightseeing, going places, whatever, and then I like to sneak off for two or three hours in the evening while it's still fairly light. Um, and I can get my fishing fix in. Wife's happy, children are happy, I'm happy. Winner all round. I hope this has been of use to you. And until next time, goodbye from Easy Fishing.